Hello YouTube, this is Drudder and it's November the 2nd today. I get asked this question quite often, how can you get silver into the UK? Or for that matter other countries that uh, it's tough to get silver into for various reasons. Sometimes they have um, import restrictions, sometimes there is large fees uh, when it crosses the border into the country. So I spent the day today um, revamping my website and trying to figure out ways to get silver into the UK. And uh, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> um, I'll quickly uh, go over the products I have up on the website right now. Keep in mind the prices are in Canadian dollars and these are shipping included prices. And as always, if you can do it cheaper, please do. Um, I'm not trying to make people buy from me. Uh, this is a service that I'm trying to provide. I'm not making any money on this, or if I am making any money, it's more like, uh, you know, 50 cents per transaction kind of thing. I'm just trying to stay above zero, basically. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to lose money, is what I'm trying to do. And uh, if you can do it cheaper, go ahead, start your own website. Don't leave stupid comments on my website saying that it's overpriced, because it isn't. All right. This is this first one here is one ounce Canadian maple to Canada. That's 32 bucks. Second one here is one ounce Canadian maple to the U.S. That's $33. And I no longer have a one ounce maple worldwide. I can't do it. Um, Canada Post is on to me. Whenever I try and ship that out, they just send it right back to me and they cancel the stamp. So I lose two bucks. And um, it's just getting harder and harder and harder. So I can't do it. Sorry. Now I have a 10 pack of Canadian maples here to Canada that includes ex express post shipping, um, tracking, delivery confirmation and insurance. That's $330. So it's a dollar more per maple for the upgraded shipping, pa uh, shipping options. These first two are, you can only buy one at a time. You can only buy one maple to Canada or one maple to the US. I have it set up to not allow any more than one at a time. Um, and these, these ones will just ship in regular white envelope. And um, there's no tracking, nothing else. It's just very simple. These ones here, the works. And um, so this is to Canada, 330. Same 10 to the US, 340. And worldwide, 375. It costs me almost $65 to ship worldwide in an express post envelope, which is the only way that has tracking and insurance to protect us from theft and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, that is the only way to do it. Yes, that can ship to the UK, no problem. And if I will ship to the UK or other countries that I know have import taxes like VAT and whatnot, the sticker on the outside of the package will say something akin to Canadian currency or co Canadian coins or um, government issue coins. I'm not open to suggestions. If you have a specific thing you want the package to say, I can say that. But I won't lie. I won't say it's, you know, rocks or something. It'll have to say what it is. And um, yes, you may get taxed on it. I'm not responsible for you being taxed on these things if it comes into your country. This is a good option for people who want something that's guaranteed, the shipping is insured, it will get there, and if they're willing to pay um, tax on it coming into their country, um, that's between them and their, and their country. I, I don't have any control over that. But I will put on the envelope that it is Canadian currency or that it's bullion or whatever you want it to say, as long as it's true. And um, that does get it through customs a lot of the time. If your country doesn't charge customs on silver, I mean, why would you charge tax on money itself. That doesn't make any sense to me, but some countries do. Um, yeah, if your country does charge tax, then you, you may be taxed on that. I can't, I don't have any control over that. Next is one Canadian silver dollar. I'll just uh, double click on this to bring it up. There they are. Now these silver dollars contain 0.6 ounces of pure silver, and the rest of the coin is copper, of course, which has value as well. Um, they're 80% silver. In this case, this silver dollar to Canada is 1850, including shipping, and that just ships in a plain white envelope. Very simple. Same with this this one below it. This is for worldwide, and it's $20. This would be your best bet for my website, anyways, to get uh, 
silver into the UK without paying taxes on it. Um, I'll read you the little blurb that I wrote up here. This item will ship well protected in a plain white envelope. It will look and feel like a normal letter. This allows it to cross international borders without a customs declaration sticker attached. Nobody will know the contents and it's very unlikely to incur any taxes or fees when it reaches you, such as the VAT in, in the, the case of the United Kingdom. I can't guarantee that, but I've never had a problem thus far. This makes it a great way to accumulate silver in places like the UK where importing is usually very costly due to the 17.5% VAT. Email me for more information on this issue. So yes, yeah, so you can get 0.6 ounces at a time in an envelope. Um, these are also set to one, limit of one per, per order. And keep in mind you can only make one order at a time. Please wait until the previous order arrives before you make a new order. I wish I didn't have to have all these restrictions, trust me. I just wish I could just blow it wide open and unlimited amounts of silver for all. It just doesn't work. I've, and I've tried it. There's problems with borders, there's problems with Canada Post, there's problems with fraud, there's problems with PayPal. There's a lot of problems. I'm doing my best, guys. Now, we have the Timberwolves, which is just the same kind of thing as the Maples. They are $1 more um, to Canada, to the US. So the answer to the question in the title, the best way that I have, that I know of, is this here. One Canadian dollar, shipping included, to worldwide, 20 bucks, that's 0.6 ounces of silver. So you're getting it at spot price, basically plus a little bit um, to cover the shipping. That would be your best bet. Your other bet would be this one here, if you're willing to pay any taxes that may be added, is uh, the worldwide option. That's insured and everything else. Ten of them for 375 If anyone has any suggestions, please leave them below. Um, and if you have any questions about it, please visit the website, and there is a link up here. Contact me. That's how you can get a hold of me. That goes right to my email box, and I'll reply back right away. Um, business questions sent to my PM box on YouTube are um, a little harder to answer there. I, I kind of like to keep the business off of YouTube, so yeah, just email me. Other than that, um, hope everyone got out in the States to vote today. Uh, looks like Prop 19 isn't going to pass in California, that's really unfortunate. But uh, I do hear that Rand Paul did get in, so that's a little bit of good news anyways. Alright guys. Hope this answers some questions, and I hope everyone having a great day. Keep on stacking. I know a lot of us follow Da Vinci J15, and there's even people out there who refuse to miss even one, you know, sentence that he speaks. Well, I turn the volume up here. Because probably because of uh, I enabled the video. Can you guys hear me now? Is it better? Yeah, we can hear you. So one. <laughs> YouTube's once listening, the, um, dude. Once the, you got the, the, the Canadian dollars, the, the so we got YouTube. Bank, uh, Canadian Central Bank. We got Da Vinci here talking US dollar, economics um, and reserve. silver and gold, and you're not here. This is the Pal Talk chat room called AU and AG Chat. AU and AG Chat. That's the one you want to join when you've installed Pal Talk. Um, I've been using it. Uh, it's addictive. I've been using it almost every day. And let's see, we have 22 people in here right now. I think even Da Vinci's got his, his camera activated. Yeah, you can watch him on the camera. Dollars <laughs> than they actually had in gold. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> I would recommend you come check it out. And once uh, people start.